Hey everybody, before you continue watching the video, make sure you give the channel a like and subscribe. Go and follow us on um, Instagram. Go and check out all the different social media um, scenarios. Make sure if you're enjoying the content, go there, like, subscribe, follow, so we can keep putting stuff out. If you've got any questions, leave a comment. All right, make a comment on either of our pages and we'll answer them as soon as we can. And going back to like kind of Lucas's point, I would say that most gyms in general don't actually teach the, the what jiu-jitsu is. They teach techniques, they teach how to do this, they teach how to do this movement, but they don't actually teach how jiu-jitsu works as a system, as an overall art, at how, to, how to make an efficient um, posture and movement system and how, that actually, how, how to understand that and how to apply that to other people. And I think that's where... Um, it, the coaching is is super important. Like whoever, it's it's your responsibility as a coach to actually transfer this information to somebody else, and it's not easy because again, if you are a, a skilled coach, right, and the same thing if you're a skilled coach as a strength conditioner, you're on page, you know, one thousand and seventy, and they're on page one, and they're trying to understand what you know about <laughs> weightlifting yeah. and blah blah. And the same thing with jiu-jitsu. I need to somehow bridge the gap from page 1070 to page 10. And there's all that information in between that you have to try to get them up to speed on as quickly as possible. Definitely. And it's not an easy skill to do that. It's actually very difficult to coach. It's very easy to transfer information onto other people. Uh, sorry, it's very difficult to transfer information to other, information to other people. Um, and I think like most gyms don't actually focus on that much at all. And I'm not saying it has to be the only focus. Of course, people need to get good at the rehearsing and the physical postures and how to do it all and step-by-step -step techniques and stuff. But like um, Lucas was saying before, like when you first start jiu-jitsu, and even for me, I didn't understand anything. You're just like, oh, someone showed you this technique. So you go, all right, grab here, do this. And you do the, and you do the technique. And if you're strong enough, fast enough, athletic enough, whatever, or you're tactical enough, you'll be able to do it. But it's just like, all right, you're in this, you're just thrown into the deep end of the pool and you just start throwing <laughs> movements together and you're like, oh shit, I'm, I'm, I'm floating. All right, great. Um, <laughs> oh, well, now I'm not, I'm so shit. And you start trying again. It's like, you're just in like this perpetual state of drowning and trying not to drown and drowning and trying not to drown. And it's, it's very stressful and it's very uncomfortable and it's very um, um, weird. But like, if you can kind of like, just focus in when you, that haze is in front of you and the chaos is around you. you. Go, holy shit! What am I supposed to do? Where is my training? Where is my training? Oh shit! Kimura, boom, 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 and then you do the thing. And like, the more you can kind of do that, the more you can kind of focus in or zone in on just like, holy shit! Where am I? What do I do? Like, eventually, it starts to become like, all right, where am I? Oh man, I'm in the closed guard, and and it just gets better and better. Like. First, it's like the, the perpetual drowning state of going, holy shit, oh, oh, gargling water, whatever. All right, then you move into like, okay, where am I? Oh, where am I? Where am I? Ah, oh, closed guard. Okay, I'm the closed guard. And then as you get more autonomous with stuff, you're like, ah, oh, closed guard, got the grip, bang, kick the guy here, boom, ah, oh, he defended back, oh, whatever. And it becomes just more fluid and, and um, interchangeable because there's some autonomy. You don't have to think anymore. You, you're starting to yeah. perform everything. But yeah. The initial stage of jiu-jitsu is complete chaos, and it's kind of like you could you could probably compare it to like becoming an adult as a as a yeah. as a human being. Like the first transition to um, being independent and like understanding that you're an adult now and you're responsible for yourself and your parents are no longer looking after you in the same way. That like holy shit, what do I do? Oh, just like this <laughs> retarded fumbling of like oh, through life and figuring things out and getting a job and renting a place and blah blah. blah. Like it's the same kind of um, situation, but you're just doing it with like a combative martial art with somebody else. So absolutely, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so like moving out on your own for the first time, yeah, you moving out, yeah. grocery shop, cook, clean, yeah. pay bills, get a job, wash get, your clothes, yeah, wash yeah. your clothes, all that sort of thing, mm. all within a very short space of time. Space of time, exactly. And I'd, I would say, like with jujitsu, that's definitely. Um, 
the, the the same kind of parallel that you're gonna you're gonna find like it's just so overwhelming for for everybody because like it, it's just so new so different so completely unintuitive and like there's some areas that are intuitive but most of it's not it's not intuitive at all like a, a lot of other sport activities that are a little more intuitive like playing with balls and like standing on your feet and keeping your balance but it's, particularly the ground stuff in jiu-jitsu is so unintuitive and so completely um, left field of people's understanding that it's it's just like, what is this contorting mess that's going on here? And you have to really be present. And like Tim, Tim, Tim was talking yesterday, we did a podcast with Tim yesterday about um, the way he compared practicing music to learning jiu-jitsu. And if you come with the approach that he was talking about, you really will get good. And it's not an enjoyable, it's not an enjoyable way to learn though. It's a very repetitive, boring way, but that's the only way to get good. Yeah. It's the only way to get good. And he said, he's holding his base. He's like, uh, 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 oh, that was wrong. Oh, dun, dun, dun. oh, no, that was wrong. All right. Fix my finger a little bit. Uh, dun, dun. Oh, there we go. All right. That was good. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, my finger was off. And the same thing you have to do with techniques of jujitsu. The more you go, all right, close guard, foot on the hip, Twist my body, hold the shoulders, leg over the head, armbar. Oh, my hips are twisted. Oh, that's wrong. And you start again and you do the technique and you really focus on what you're doing. Eventually, after a thousand repetitions, 10,000 repetitions, it's going to be per not perfect, but almost perfect. Yeah. It's going to get to a point where you can really rely on those movements. You can really rely on the performance of those contractions. And that's the same thing with the dun dun dun. Oh fell off oh, dun, dun, dun. and and again it's not flattering the realities of everything you do are not really flattering again there's the ups which are amazing and they are flattering and that's what people make highlight videos of they're highlights it's not everything that's the thing <laughs> we live so much on youtube and in youtube uh instagram, instagram everything all you see is the highlights and the highlights of life are a small fraction they're the five percent of what what's happening then you got the low lights, all the horrible stuff. There's another 5%. The other 90%, it's in the middle ground. And yeah. it's just the boring hard work that can tend like, eh, just do the same position over and over and over and over all right, to get to that point where you can reach all right, the highs. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's like an interesting like way that he described it, which was really cool yeah. to kind of listen to because it's the same in judo, it's the same in wrestling, it's the same in jiu-jitsu. You just over and over and over perform um, the technique. Thanks for watching the video guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you give it a like, subscribe and a follow. Check out all our different social media platforms. There's heaps of content coming out. There's different snippets and content on different on different platforms. So make sure you're on everything. And again, if it helped you out, recommend to somebody else and hopefully it'll help them out too.